Hello guys, this is Matthew Racing here and today I am back with another X-Plane video and I'm just going to show you a tutorial of how to start up this Boeing 767 from Flight Factor and I'm in X-Plane 11 so you can see this nice scenery at Heathrow and I am going to do a flight after this but I don't think I'll show you that, I'm just going to show you the start up so you can see we're completely cold and dark, I haven't touched anything so this is as you were spawned in so the first thing you want to do pretty much, I set up views obviously so Go up to your battery, turn it on, so this pretty much just gives power to everything. You want to turn your standby power to auto. Just, uh, yeah, just standby power in case the battery dies or anything. So then you want the bus ties on. And the utility left and right on. So that's going to give power. But we still don't have, like, proper power yet, if that makes sense. So you want to get this iPad out. So this is basically just a menu system, and it's quite cool they put in an iPad. So you want to go to ground and you want this, the high pressure unit and the GPU, so ground power unit, so this is pretty much just give us power from the outside, so you can actually see it here, so there they are, and the other one is actually under the standard, uh, let's see it, it's there, so if I come back here, so what we want to do now is just click this external power, so now we have everything on, so yeah, the FMC, the NDs, and yeah, so that's quite good. So now, pretty much, you're just gonna go left to right on this. So you want to turn the ILS's. So this is gonna tell the plane where it is, and this is the heading. So you can see there, it's gonna take seven minutes to do this. So yeah, you have to wait seven minutes in real time. The yaw dampers is gonna make the plane fly better. Pretty sure that's what. And you want to turn these all. Well, you can turn. Yeah, just turn all the hydraulics on down there. Everything's auto, and click all the buttons at the top. Let's give the plane hydraulics. You want to arm the emergency lights, and yeah, you don't want to turn any fuel on yet. You don't need that. We want to turn one position light on there. That's all you need for lighting right now. Turn the window heats on. So yeah, I'm going through this quite quickly, but it should be fine. So no smoking on, and I think the seat belts can be off now. I don't know. I don't know about seat belts, but it's fine pretty much. So here you want to turn the altitude to auto or the pressurization. So yeah, th this you can do when you get closer to the airport. So that is okay. Then here you want to turn. This is like the air conditioning and the airflow, I think. So you want to turn this to all auto. Turn these trimmers on so you actually get some airflow. Uh, this to auto as well. Then here you want to turn the, the packs is basically air conditioning. So you want to turn that on and you want to turn the valves on so I can actually let it work so yeah we have air conditioning now in the plane so that is the overhead panel for now complete so now you want to go into here so we are at a gate as you can see just move out you know we have a gate there so just click gate config I guess we can have chocks and covers and stuff and we want a fuel chart um, so basically now I have on Project Fly a flight plan already here. So I'm not actually sure if you can see this or not, but it says packs. So I'm having four passengers on this flight. Route. So this is actually like a 14-hour flight, and I'm going to do it in the night while I'm asleep because yeah, I don't know why not. So the max passengers is 235. So that's going to fill them all up. Cargo weight I'm going to put to zero because oops, that's what it says. It, like it just doesn't. Parker. and it works out your fuel here as well so you can get project fly it's just a free online thing and use I use sim brief as well so minimum take of fuel is 71,181 so I always put like a thousand more so that's just I'm pretty sure the maximum is if I just put like 80,000 well that's not 80,000 so it's gonna go. So the maximum is seventy three thousand. So yeah, let's just put seventy two thousand on. Because it, it doesn't seem to work if you put the maximum in. It just doesn't let you. So you need to optimize center of gravity. So the center of gravity is still a bit off, but it tries to do it. Is yeah. So now you want to actually open some doors. So you want to open this one and maybe this one. So you can actually see it open now. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's just open this one so you can see it. Yeah, so that's quite cool. Uh, let's just open more, why not? 
just open all our doors so now we can actually load the plane so yeah if we go and it's not loading is it so what did I just click I think I clicked the wrong thing I, I don't actually know what happened so I click load plane oh no fuel truck I'm sure I had a fuel truck loads in the plane there we go that was a bit weird but now we should be able to hear them coming so you just need to open this door actually, I'll show you this, you need to click this button here and that will door can open and close. So yeah, you can hear all the people getting up and you see the fuel actually filling up, that's quite cool. So yeah, the fuel is going up. So now we want to do FMC, so it's kind of hard to explain everything I'm doing, but... So, you want to click FMC, then, then you want to click pause in it, so you want to... Let's clear that, so you want to say whatever on that. So we're at EGLL, and then you want to get this number here, and click on that, click the scratch pad, and put it to set IRS position. So that's going to tell the plane where it is, so, yeah, so that's what it's doing up there. So yeah, so root is going to remember it's EGLL, so you just click it there, and we are going to just check uh, RJAA. So that is a place, that is Tokyo International Airport. So we're going right around the world here. It's like an 11 and a half hour flight. So our uh, flight number, I just made it up, is VA1569. So yeah, I should make that up. So activate, execute. And now you want to come to departure and arrival. So this is where you need to flight plan. So I have my flight plan here telling me what to do. So you can just make this in Simbri or on Project Fly. So I can see that this is what the Project Fly thing looks like. I don't actually know if you can see this or not. You should be able to. Uh, so yeah, this is the route. So be okay. Uh, so yeah, so that's done now. So now I'm going to go to route. Next page. So BPK and direct to. Uh, guys, if you want, I can do a FMC tutorial. So so it wants to go direct. So if you want to go direct, you click it in the second one there. And then, you to, then column is the next one. So let's put that here. Uh, yeah, direct column. So you can see just basically just do whatever it wants. If it doesn't say direct, you put it in the left one, but it's all direct at the moment. So direct to that. And N50. So I think I will skip through this because there's lots and lots of them. Uh, and then don't get. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I've just put the last waypoint here, swamp, so execute that, and then. So, the last and first one is a star. I did explain that at the start, so you want to go here. So, you can see you don't want to pick the first arrival because we're not going to EGRL, that's why I say you don't want to go to the second one. So, we are arriving, and we want to pick swamp, and then N, so. Let's try and find that swamp there, and we are landing at this one to the third, this flight down here. Uh, uh, 16 right. So I don't actually know the differences between like these two, the, the Y and the Z, but let's pick Y I guess. So execute. So now we let's look at our legs first. You want to get rid of any discontinuities, obviously. So let's have a look. Here we go. So you want to flip the one that's below it and then just fill it in and execute. So that's simple enough. So yeah, let's go to init ref. So we're part in it. So click there for our fuel or for our weight even. So reserves, I don't really know. I just put five in. But yeah, I'm just going to put. Because it's a long flight and I want to have, um, I'm pretty much maxed out. I don't put 50 in there, I don't know why I'm doing that. I just put like 1 or 2 or something. So I want to go to 3, so this is 36,000 feet, so just flight level 360 basically. And of course, in depth, just put 40 unless you want to look up what they really is. So enable cruise altitude. Um, let's just leave that, I don't know, it should be fine. So flaps 5. And if you click here, it will give you trim. So we will find a look there. So I have a joystick that will tell me. Well, I'm using my joystick to click there. So there we go. That's about 2.5. Um, so if you click here, it will tell us our V speed. So we are rotating at 174. So let's put that in there. 
And while we're looking at this, let's just do this panel. So turn the thrust on, the flight director, LNAV, and this flight director, there we go, and yeah. 